Yo, what is up guys? This is Animal. Today I bring you a new video. This video is going to be about the Attunement and Control Storm Caller subclass and the Botteration Shotgun in uh, the old version, pretty much in the energy slot. Uh, as you can see, I really like this new subclass just for this. Boom! You can pre-send a arc bolt melee pretty much around like in certain areas where you know there's gonna be a person and it brings down a chain of lightning on them it's so fun and so really so good for aggressive plays um, I can play back like I was doing in D1 pretty much with storm callers with Hamkaras just rushing around and all that kind of stuff but in the next uh, like in the next couple of clips there uh, after these clips with the Hamkaras you'll see that I was playing with the Ace of Spades uh, when I'm going to start by playing non-stop Crucible with uh, competitive and all that kind of stuff in Gambit, I might be playing a hand cannon and, and a shoddy. I'm still trying to gain light level, so right now the Crucible clips are not that often. Uh, I'm spending a lot of time... Ooh, nice. I'm spending a lot of time in the uh, PvE right now because that's where a big portion of the light level and challenges and all that kind of stuff is plus the story is amazing dreaming city is a blast i'm loving everything i'm gonna make a video about pretty much my whole review of the dlc so far everything i'm just in love with everything right now i i knew back in my head uh when d2 came out and everybody was quitting left and right i was like the one couple of, you know there's a couple of people in the community that just stuck by it and said nah they're gonna turn it around and make it destiny again you know and I was freaking right now D2 is uh, Forsaken is pretty much D1 uh, there's a couple of things missing but eventually it will come like the machine guns a little bit more ammo on the snipers this and that a little knickknacks you know but right now this feels like Destiny 1. In my opinion, it's better than Destiny 1. We have more subclass, uh, subclass 3, I should say. We have a lot of new weapon system and all that kind of stuff, and the new, uh, like, uh, weapon, uh, you can have shotguns and snipers and all that kind of stuff in your primaries. Name it, there's a lot of new things in the game that even D1 did not have. Uh, I think right now this is the best destiny that we ever seen the new raid looks So insane. I'm gonna be playing it this week there I didn't participate in the world's first because I was so low light compared to uh, like what they were asking and it's all it's it's okay It's all cool like some people were in the light level to do it, and I, I understand that uh, I, I still wish that at least the beginning part would have been maybe 540. Maybe a lot more people would have gotten a chance to try it and gain some light levels in, in the way. But, hey, it is what it is. I'll get it done this week. That I know. And after that, I'm going to be starting to play a lot of competitive and a lot of gambit to get that new uh, Malfeasant hand cannon. Uh, I got the damn ornament today. Dang. <laughs> it looks really cool, though. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna be trying to do a lot more of those. Uh, right now, my three characters are pretty much uh, on the go. I completed the story on all three, and pretty much everything is done on the Warlock except uh, exotic quests and the raid and competitive, pretty much. But at least they're all uh, raid ready. They're all pretty much ready to play with every week to get the powerful engram and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, back to the topic. I think when I start back playing Crucible non-stop, the Ace of Spades, and this shotgun right here, or if I can get the shotgun, uh, they call it the Matador Jr. pretty much in that new uh, exclusivity stuff for the strikes, uh, what's the name of that shotgun, I don't remember, it has like these hive scrolls all over it there. Uh, if I can get that with a nasty roll, I'm probably going to run that with Ace of Spades or Malfeasant. Uh, I can't wait to be able to play a lot more Crucible and bring you guys a lot more clips because I am loving this Storm class. I am definitely in love with it. Uh, some people are saying it's OP. To be honest, I don't think it's OP. Uh, 
there's a lot more OP things in this game right now, like, to be worried about, like, how Dawnblade is right now, <laughs> Dawnblade's super fucking strong right now, Hammers, uh, the top tree is super strong, Archstrider top tree still really strong, the new Gunslinger super pretty much can take out an entire team if you do it right, um, yeah, like, I don't know, I don't think, I, I see myself, like, getting triples and quads, but every super in the game pretty much can get that, so, I mean, the only thing that might be OP about this is just, uh, I'd say the melee range, but, to be honest, you throw an arc bolt, like, a, a little ball of energy that brings down a chain of lightning, it's almost like if somebody would be throwing a throwing knife, or even that new hammer that you can throw, and you can even pick it up, like, again. So, I don't know. I don't call this class OP. I don't think it's OP. Uh, people that love to say it's OP is because usually they're getting destroyed by it. Uh, but if somebody knows how to play with this subclass like I have been doing, I can, I can bring people into traps and all that kind of stuff with this melee system and all that kind of stuff. And I can actually shut down hammers, like arch striders and all that kind of stuff with this super. But, I mean, it doesn't last 10 days, so, and you don't even have Ionic Blink, so, to be honest, I don't think, I don't think this new subclass is OP, if people think it's OP, I, I, I don't know, I don't think so, we finally have a Warlock Super that, uh, is really viable for PvE and PvP, um, Dawnblade was the most and only pretty much viable Super for PvP and PvE, uh, before this DLC pretty much. I could play with Storm, but but that's because I main Storm non-stop. So uh, Storm just got recently a buff. Now it's decent. Now it's really in a good place. Well, I, I wouldn't call it OP though because hammers are still. I I think they're still stronger. Archstrider's still stronger, but um, nah, it's it's not OP in my opinion. I think it's a good subclass. It's very fun. Anybody that's a warlock should give it a try. I've been just playing that. Like even even when I was been switching characters, I was like, yeah, I don't want to play anything else but my new warlock stormcaller. But I'll be bringing you a bunch of gameplays with that, uh, with different exotics and all that kind of stuff. I even got the boost that extends the range of chaos reach and it uh, tops it off pretty much. So you get your super a little bit more often. Uh, which is good for PvE, like, a lot, <laughs> a lot with this new raid and all that kind of stuff. But, um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for me today, guys. I'll be bringing you some more videos of Crucible, don't you worry. Um, and I'll be bringing you some exotic reviews and all that kind of stuff, name it. Um, some challenge videos and a lot more stuff coming. So, I hope that you guys will hit that like button. Thunder snipe that bell so you stay notified with everything content wise on my channel and don't forget to drop in my streams from time to time I always enjoy talking with you guys and I might even start streaming on YouTube from time to time let me know if it's something that you guys are interested in but yet again I will see you guys on the next video peace out